now I think that's the end of the chapter. Yeah, that's the end of the chapter. I don't know, it was just weird to watch given both those character sizes. Snow is... First off, Snow never shaves. He has just bristle all the time, 24-7. Anyway, there we are. I'll shut up. Back to the plot. system basically assigns class types to your individual characters. Those class types dictate what they will do in battle and what they can do in battle as well as their behaviors. Um, for example, I believe if I'm remembering right or correctly, the battle types are Commando, Ravager, Synergist, Medic, Saboteur, and Sentinel. Okay, let's break those down again. Commando being your knight class, focusing more so about melee attacks and getting up close. Commandos also retain, uh, what do you call it, the uh, stagger meter. They don't build stagger meter very fast, but they retain it. They keep it from coming, going down. Uh, Ravagers. Ravagers are basically your black mage class using offensive magic and, uh, you know, a lot of offensive magic. They also help build stagger a lot faster than normal. So they'll build stagger meter fast, it's just that their stagger meter drains fast. Uh, Medic, as you can guess, is the white mage class basically specializing on supporting, the uh, supporting your party with healing magic. Synergist is a strictly support class with no healing magic. That would be like, um, I can't think of a Final Fantasy term, but as far as Fantasy Star Online, that would be your Acromancer. They focus more so on boosting the abilities of your party with, say, haste or attack up, uh, magic up, etc., etc. Sentinel is your Iron Soldier class where they do attack, but they focus more so on fortifying their defenses or attracting attention to themselves to for, uh, since they have such high HP and defense. Uh, basically taking the attention of the enemies while the rest of your party attacks the enemy while they attack the sentinel. While the sentinel can either recover his HP by himself or just go into a defensive stance. Saboteur acts as a debuffer, debuffing the enemies. I believe that is it. You'll see. And then depending on how much the different uh plot will apply, I'm set up. Uh, 
Sí. I'm an ass. Yeah. Even snow is taken back. is definitely going to have a nervous breakdown. He's, he is wigging out. See, huh? Yeah. As fast as that, they become the C, and now they're all playing for the wrong side of the team. Anyway, let's go into our paradigm system because I like my paradigms a particular way. Can I even... Okay, first off, let's delete. Do 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 do. Let's customize. Do 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 do. You will be a raptor. You will be commander. Okay, let's do that. Um. Oh, okay. So. Raptor. Commander. So you'll make sure that you need to make sure that you have enough paradigms to deal with any sort of situation since you cannot make paradigms while in battle. You just gotta make sure that your paradigms are, uh, you know, up to snuff for whoever you may find, or rather, whatever battle you may find yourself in. Thankfully, battles will become more interesting and more exciting now that I can use magic. magic.
saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. I mean, that was our focus. But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? The tricky part. The train is going to get the parts and pieces. If you're not able to do it, area, Krista area, uh, whatever, skip it. That's basically how you level up, which is much like the um, Final Fantasy, uh, it's a mixture between Final Fantasy X's grid system, no, Final Fantasy X had something, I forget what it's called, I think it was a grid, and then Final Fantasy uh, 13, no, yeah! Final Fantasy 12 Gambit system. There's a well, the Paradigm's sort of like the Gambit system, and then the Crystar, Crystar, Crystaria, 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 whatever. Sphere Grip. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh gosh. Anyway, yeah, let's take a quick look at this. So yeah, you have these two little skill trees that you have, Commander, Commando, and Ravager. And then you have this massive tree of skills that you have to fill up, or you can fill up. And then eventually you'll max it out, and then uh, as you progress, more levels of it will uh, appear. So that's how you develop your characters. That's what you use your experience points in. You don't actually level up in the game. You just sort of boost your skills. Spear grid. Oh my gosh. There's so much of this stuff I've forgotten since I haven't played 10 or 12 in quite some time. I never beat 12, and it's been years since I've played 10. I hope they didn't delete my, uh, what's it called? Paradigms, because I need them. See, battles are a lot faster now that I am able to use magic and everybody's attacking on their own using their own magic and I'm causing stagger way faster, enemies are going down way faster. 